Jumbo and welcome to another episode of Coding in AL and today uh, uh, it's a video in response to Faisal Ahmad who requested for uh, the comment was please make a video on copy document in AL and um, I'll just uh, for the sake of those who haven't used the feature before it's uh, for instance let me view this card item card there is a function here under actions functions copy item so i can be able to copy this item and then i specify another target item and then i can now be able to to specify to add some few details here that i want changed um if i want the picture to be part of the copying I want also the picture to be copied, maybe the sales prices and all these. Maybe I can only select the picture, item vendors, item variants, translations. If I want all these others to be copied while I'm copying the item, I can be able to specify that and then I click OK and then I'll get my new item, which will have uh, the name uh, here. It will be... This is the new item number and then it has every other thing the description and all that so instead of since this item is similar to the other item i just copy it and then i get uh, uh, my new item and it increases my speed of creating new items so uh on that regard i would like to use the same functionality and replicate it on the bank account so that we can be able to create a new bank account from the old bank account. So going back to my Visual Studio code, I'll create a page. The page that we will use is a standard dialog type. The page that displayed on the item there was that particular type on a standard dialog page type so copy from bank account come on copy bank account so we won't have a source table for this but you could have a temporary source table and then means also we don't have any field there so on the layout it's not a list page so we are not using any repeater so the standard dialog gives you a very uh, clean page that unlike uh, what people are using the processing only reports that could give you the record from this other bank and then you just do your processing from the processing only report and then you are able to fetch whatever you want but now this standard dialog page gives us a cleaner view because the processing only you have to uh, do a lot of changes maybe only uh, specify the uh what do i want to put it you have a request page you have a data item or not and all that uh, this one is a bit clean but you can still use the processing only if you feel you want the record directly from uh, that processing only report uh, let's proceed so here we have the layout and uh, the layout before because because you don't have a data item it means all our this layout will be populated by variables global variables so our first variable since we are copying from the bank account we need to have uh, the record from the old bank account and call it a record of type bank account and then uh, this one will be let me just type the name old bank account after getting the record from the old bank account 
we need to specify the new bank account number so this is the the window that uh, the option that we give the user to specify the code of the new bank account number so while here now on this area of this page since it's just like a page uh, then we can call we can create a group called bank account details and then on this bank account details i can specify the new bank account number the caption here will be the new bank account number and then while i specify this caption you know i need to the user the user should see the old bank account number so the old bank account number bank account number will be now the old bank account dot number so we are just we will just fetch it from this variable but how we how will we populate we need to populate this variable the beauty with the standard dialog page is that we can declare this page as a variable and be able to populate these global variables in this um, page and they'll be used in the lifetime of the page as long as the page is open or it's yes um, when the page is working active we can be able to pro to do that so we will create a procedure that will be a global procedure that will be set bank account huh? then it will take a record of type bank account um so we can take that bank account in that way so after creating this bank account what this set set bank account will do it will basically um define or it will just uh, assign or in, assign the old bank account to now this particular bank account we are just assigning the old bank account to this um, uh, bank account meaning that this is the current record that we'll be selecting and now we want this variable for old bank account to only uh, to pick that as the bank account and then We'll add a caption to specify that this is the old bank account number. Then we will close it up. And we have our page there that is ready for processing in, in the page. So the other thing we need to create is a page extension. Uh, okay, I can do a new page extension, but I can also add it here for the bank account okay before i add the page extension we just need to now be able to do the processing i'm rushing so fast trigger so there are so many actions here but uh, the one that we're interested in is on query close page so when you close the page um you have those different actions so if action is equals to um, close action okay so whichever action they select select when when they're selecting the action if it's okay if they've selected an okay <clears throat> then we proceed to close the page um an option value is as expected <laughs> okay if action is equals to action okay then we can be able to close the page then okay if action okay if close action the issue here is sorry for this syntax issue if close action is equals to close action okay then begin so we are just into the close action the close action if it's uh, okay then we begin 
and then we are able now to process this uh, function here so what we'll do is the new bank account will need a variable here for another new bank account so many bank account variables not a trigger it's just a variable i'm so much into triggers today a variable which will be a record of bank account and then when we have that we'll just uh, give it a full then you can add it's a new bank account so the new bank account will use the default or the normal procedure to just initialize it and then after initializing it oh come on this is a big syntax error so you begin there then we initialize the new bank account after initializing the new bank account we just specify that um the new bank account will get all its values from the old bank account transfer fields this uh, we looked at the transfer fields at some point so you can be able to look at that and because we will transfer all the fields from the old bank account after doing that transfer we will now specify that the new bank account remember that the bank account number will still be holding the same as the one that is in the old bank account so we'll just say uh, initialize it to the new bank account number then finally we will just uh, init it we just insert after inserting uh, we can now uh, call the page dot run to open the bank account card for that particular new bank account so that you can be able to preview it so the other thing that we need to specify is that uh, we need to make sure that it, that um, the bank account number has a value so if it's equal to blank then we throw an error error we'll have another label here label i almost forgot the syntax for the label error bank account forgive my naming convention the label of please specify yes i'm so tired today specify the bank account number oh please should not have that exclamation because we are pleading to the user please just kindly just specify it because if you don't specify you cannot be able to enter it and i think that will be it for this page and then because after inserting we have we populate we preview that new bank account for the user so that they can be able to see whatever they have done uh for many other options this is just an example of how you can approach it but you can juice it up add some more variables for the user uh, if you want etc and then i'll go to t page extension to create a new extension for the page i will call it bank account page extension it will extend the bank account card come on the bank account card here it is so we are not changing anything on the layout uh, but probably something on the actions and uh, here so we we need to go back to this bank account so we need to have this action and uh, after the posted bank reconciliation so what we'll do here is in our actions 
we will just add after posted bank reconciliations then <clears throat> after this posted bank reconciliation we have our action that we will call it a uh, copy bank account and then uh, it will be an action that is clearly promoted and uh, will be promoted under uh, process and it will also have an image of copy then it will have a trigger on action <clears throat> that will tell us that with a variable now here is where we specify the variable for the page we will call it it's a page of standard dialogue that we named copy bank account and we can call the page in v short then the first thing will be setting the bank account to the record like we'll specify this current record on this action to that old bank account and then uh, we'll just run the model when we run the model it will give us the page and every other action is done on the page so i hope everything is okay it is true that it is uh, promoted it is promoted under the process the image is copy what else should we add here the caption but we don't need so that's it now we need to test our application to try and copy one or two bank accounts sorry i, I added this this is not the best way of adding an extension i'm a bit lazy today so i have i didn't want to create a new extension a new page extension and uh, finally we are sending our request oh we should have put the bank account as the default page that opens but nonetheless let's move forward and go to bank accounts under cash management and then we will try and copy in a new london bank and just view it or edit and then so we have our action here copy bank account so the old bank account is nbl but the new bank account i want it to be kcb and then i click ok so we have kcb here with all the other details of the old bank account so if i wanted to change maybe for instance probably you could um, or if you, if you really want to use it for bank accounts uh, you can have a name there so they specify the na the number and the name and um, and then you'll you'll update that name you can even update the bank branch branch number and maybe the bank account number the fields that you feel that need to be updated uh while the user is selecting the standard dialog can be updated there and we can still move forward and do another copy and uh, go standard sunchat sunchat probably and uh, even go on and create another copy of cop bank i'm not creating copies of banks where i bank but uh, probably and i think this is how we can utilize the copy uh, document function faisal i hope the video will help if not if you already figured out and if you have any other question please keep commenting you can suggest uh, videos that you feel that i should create if there is a topic that you feel that needs some attention you can put it in the comments and i uh, will see what to do absolutely uh, i'll try and do it faster but i really thank you for watching and commenting and for that stay tuned may god bless you and tuonane in the next video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one